music is full of patterns. And as a harpist, you have been training your eyes to recognize and training your hands to feel all kinds of patterns and shapes in your music. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 pattern. It sounds like this. So I'd like to share some technique tips on how to play this pattern so that it feels fluent and easy for you. And then I'm going to share a new piece with you called Ocean Stones, which features this pattern and may become a piece that you really enjoy having in your practice and in your repertoire. So let's get started. Now, why don't you go get your harp? Because we can actually do this together. And tune your harp to C major so you're just like me. Now, you can create a 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 pattern starting on any string, but just for today, and so we're doing the same thing, let's build our pattern starting on C. Now, if this is new for you, I'll show you where those numbers are coming from and also which strings you'll be using. So if we're starting on C, we're going to call that our 1, and then counting up, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that takes us to G. Finger 2, left hand finger 2 will be on your G. Add six, seven, eight, so your thumb will go to C, which is your eight. Then once we have the pattern moving along, we'll also add nine and 10, which is D and E. So the sequence again is one, five, eight, nine, 10, or in this case, C, G, C, D, E. Now, let's take a closer look at this so you can develop your technique and fluency. There are a couple tricks to it. The first one is you must be able to open your hand and place your one, five, eight as a group. So let's begin with a closed hand. Remember, you want to have nice posture, sitting up nice and tall, your shoulders relaxed. Float the elbow so that your forearm is parallel with the floor. Let's close the hand and slowly open the fingers like your fingers are petals opening on a flower. Place your CGC as a group. So let's do that again. Close the hand, hover close to the strings. So we hover, then open the hand and place CGC as a group. Now, the next thing that we want to think about is following through with finger four. When finger four plays, it needs to close completely into the palm of the hand. Now, at this point, I'm going to switch hands so you can see a little better what's happening on the inside of my hand. So you keep going with your left hand. I'm going to switch to my right hand. We hover, open, and place CGC or 158 as a group. Now, when your finger four plays, concentrate on going fully into the palm of the hand. So, three, four, five will all go in. Feel the fingertips in the palm. You want to be careful that you don't curl your finger into a little bunch. Okay, let's do that one more time. Hover, open, and place. Now finger four is going to play and go all the way into the palm of the hand. Good, nice job. Now finger two will close, but now finger two will need to cross under. Now there's a really important secret here that finger two is coming under to D and it needs to come under nice and low. If you cross under and you're too high and too close to your thumb, you're going to have a really hard time playing your next three strings. So when you cross under, cross under nice and low with that finger too. And you're going to feel this might feel a little bit awkward for you at first. It's so important that you feel solidly placed with your thumb. Your thumb is slightly pushing forward and solidly placed on your finger too, which is pulling slightly. So when those feel equal and, and comfortable, you're going to push your thumb closed. The thumb needs to reopen and place on E. Now you can close your finger too. There's lots of room to do it. And then your thumb closes. Now be careful when you do this that the thumb action is what's making the sound as opposed to yanking your hand away from the harp. Okay, that work is done with the thumb, not with the hand. 
Okay, let's do that again. So let's start. We hover close to the strings, open the fingers, and place CGC as a group. Very nice. Finger four is following through. Finger two touches the palm and then reopens nice and low. Place it on the D. Push your thumb closed. Reopen the thumb to E. Now your two can close and your thumb can close. Nice job. Are you ready to try it a little bit faster? Okay, let's get ready. So I'll, I'll continue doing it with my right hand, though you are on your left hand. I'm just doing this so you can see a little bit better. You notice how nice and low my finger two is when I'm placing my 158. You could check yours as well. If you notice your left hand fingers are up in the air like this, then that's a place to come back to opening from a closed hand position and making sure that that finger two is placing nice and low on the string. Okay, let's try it like this. I'm gonna play it once, you listen to the speed, and then we'll come back and do it again together. We'll take it at one and two and three, four. Are you ready? Let's try that together. Ready and begin. One and two and three, four. Beautiful. Open, we'll do it again. Once more. Ready and begin. It's one and two and three, four. Lovely. Let's try moving it to another chord. Let's try moving it to an F chord, which is also your four chord. So that means your F is now one. One, two, three, four, five. That's C. Oh, that makes it really easy. You're aiming for blue and red. And so your eight is also F or blue. So hover, open, and place. Now remember, I'm using my right hand just so you can see. You use your left hand. So let's close that finger four all the way into the palm. Two crosses under, nice and low. Close the thumb and continue up your pattern. Okay, let's try it a little bit faster. Open, place. One and two and ready and begin. It's. Let's try a full chord progression now. We'll use our C chord and our F chord. Let's do the C chord four times, F twice, and then back to C twice. All right, we'll turn this into a little exercise. And I'm gonna switch back to my left hand just because it feels most comfortable for me. So let's begin with hover, open, and place your C chord. Here's our tempo, you can play it with me. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Again, one and two and three, four. One more, one and two and three. Now we're moving to F, ready? One. start on your one five eight nine ten pattern now when you feel ready to integrate that into an actual piece I'd invite you to check out um, a new piece that I've composed called ocean stones and this piece features the one five eight nine ten so it gives you a lot of practice on it. There are a couple other teachable moments in this piece as well, like there's a harmonic in this piece and also some rolled chords, which I know most of us like to practice a little bit extra. And I should also tell you with this piece, I've created three different arrangements of it. The first arrangement, the main one is for a larger harp because you need to get down to a low F. One thing about the one, five, eight, nine, ten pattern is it requires quite a bit of real estate. So it's a really nice pattern for larger harps but if you're on a smaller harp you can still do it too and I created a second arrangement for smaller harps ones that will use a bass C as the lowest string and so that just means that you will do your one five eight nine tens on C but on some of the other chords I've simplified the pattern to something smaller for example on the A chord 
you'll be using a one, two, three, five pattern so that it fits your harp a little better. And then I also made a third arrangement as well, which is just a simple lead sheet, which means just the right hand melody and chord symbols. And that's gonna be really nice for those of you who might be on a double strung harp or in a very small harp. Or if you're more advanced and you wanna make up your own left hand patterns, it gives you that flexibility. So at this point then I will play Ocean Stones for you. I hope you enjoy it and very nice job on practicing your 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 patterns with me. Thank you so much for watching the video and joining me in learning your 158910 patterns. I hope that was helpful and that you enjoy the new piece. If you're interested in taking lessons with me, whether that's regular lessons or just lessons once in a while, please feel free to contact me at my studio website. The link is down in the description below the video. I'd love to hear from you.